everybody, welcome back to another third grade Wylock video. My name is Kara and let's get on to the video. So, we're going to start off by doing number 3. So it says 6 plus 3 equals 9, 9 minus 3 equals 6, and 3 plus blank equals 9. So what we have to do is we have to figure out what plus 3 equals 9. Well, if you um, count, 3 plus 6 equals 9. And um, you can just check, so 1, 2, 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you count that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It gets 9. But what you could also do is the opposite of, you can do the opposite of what you um, did to do to find it. So 3 plus something equals 9. What you would do is you would do the opposite, which is subtraction. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. So you would do 9 minus 3, and then you would find your answer. Instead of doing 3 plus something equals 9. Okay? So, 9 minus 3 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see that will give you 6. So, our answer is going to be 6. Next, we're going to be doing number um, 7. So 4 plus 6 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 10 minus 6 equals blank. Well, if you do your math, 10 minus 6 equals 4. So our answer is 4. Again, we could check our work by doing the opposite. So since we're it's subtraction this time, our opposite would be addition. So instead of doing 10 minus 6, uh, to check your work, you would do 6 plus 4, which equals 10. And we have 10 here, so 4 is the correct answer. The last problem I'm going to be doing is number 12. 13 plus 7 equals 20. 7 plus 13 equals 20. 20 minus 13 equals something. Well, let's subtract to see what our answer is. 0 minus 3, you have to borrow. So this 2 turns into 1. 0 turns into a, um, a 10. Sorry, um, let me rewrite that. A 10. And 10 minus 3 is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0. So basically, our answer is 7. Again, you can check your work by doing the opposite. So since we're subtracting in this problem, you would do the opposite of... Um, subtracting which is adding so you would add 13 13 plus 7 which if you add you get 20 so 7 will be our answer the next page we're going to be doing is multiplication and i'm going to be starting off with number 2 2 11 times 9 so i'm gonna write it so when you do um, multiplication and you have um, a digit with more numbers or a number with more digits, I recommend that you put the number with the more digits on the top. So as 11 has one more digit than 9, I put 11 on the top. So first we're going to be multiplying down and that will give us 9 because 1 times 9 is 9. Anything times not 1 is the number you're multiplying by. And then we're going to multiply here, which we get 9 again. So our answer is 99. Next, I'm going to be doing number 9. So 3 times 6. I'm going to be drawing 3 sets of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you add that up, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our answer is 18. And next I'm going to be doing number 15. 10 times 4. So I'm going to be multiplying straight down first. So 0 times 4 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. And our answer is 40. 
The last problem I'm going to be doing on this page is number 20, 12 times 5. So again, we multiply straight down first. 2 times 5 is 10, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, and our answer is 60. The third topic that we're going to be doing in this video is addition. So I'm going to start off with number 3, 26 plus 43. So I'm just going to add straight down. 6 plus 3 is 9, 2 plus 4 is 6, and our answer is 69. Next, I'm going to be doing number 7, 4 plus 3, so 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our answer is 7. Next, I'm going to be doing number 13, 210 plus 10. Again, with since 210 has a more digits than 10, I recommend that you put the number with more digits on the top because it's easier to add. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 2, and we just bring down the 2, and our answer is 220. Last one I'm going to be doing is number 19, 41 plus 11. Add straight down, 1 plus 1 is 2, 4 plus 1 is 5, and our answer is 52. The last um, work page that we're going to be doing in this video is word problems. And I'm going to be doing number two. It says, Mark has 15 buttons. He buys six more from the store but loses three of them. How many buttons does he have left? So if we draw that out, it would look something like he has 15 buttons. I'm going to be drawing 15 buttons. So I've draw, I drew 15 buttons. So, and then it says he buys six more. So let's draw six more buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now it says he lost three. So that means um, if he loses three, that means three buttons are going to be gone. So we're going to cross out three two three and then now we just have to count how many buttons are left one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so now he has 18 buttons left sorry i'm gonna write my answer on the top because there's no space and that is going to be your answer.